Hello everyone, Strong King and Aluki here with more Let's Play Earthbound. Hmm. I wonder what that thing was that was flying past earlier. You might have seen it at the end of the last episode and just now at the beginning of this one. Um, we'll come across them as we go. Those are magic butterflies. They will restore your PP. And I'm sure I know a certain person who's loving the fact that there's PP in the game. You know who you are. Ow. See, how, see, at least the dogs are nice enough that they just like bite me in the arm or the leg or something. No, the freaking crows have to peck me in the eye. I need those eyes for seeing. Okay, let's go. So many battle. Way too many battle. You must tone down the battle. Random encounter too many. Well, not really random though. There's a weird trick to this game. Some people use it to cheat their way past enemies. Um, others can use it to level up faster. Um, if you actually get an enemy at the edge of the screen and you walk out of the screen a little bit just so that they barely disappear and you walk back, Sometimes they'll disappear, other times they'll change into other enemies, and other times they'll actually increase the number of enemies. So you can actually do whatever you want. If you find a really hard enemy you know you can't beat very easily, you can always do that, scoot out of the screen and come back, and you might get an easier one. I won't be doing that, but you could do that. It basically respawns them. On a public library. Use the library more. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Now we do want to do that, we want to get the map. Hi! Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yeah, I guess so. And the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. <laughs> Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know, the X button located at the top. Yeah, go away. I believe it's the. That should be that button. Let's see. No. Is it that button? No. Is it that button? Yes. And there's our map. Now, it's just a basic map. It won't show you everything, but it'll give you a good idea of where to go, which direction you can go for special things. So, looks like we got a food shop, a normal shop, which is where you buy like armor, weapons, items, things like that. Hotel, refill your health. Looks like a museum in the middle of town. Uh, got a hospital, a food store. I don't even know what kind, but there's a food store. And then apparently Tucson is south of here. I guess that's the next town or something. Hmm. Well, let's explore. We still got to find Giant's Foot, or Giant's Step, I believe it's called. Right, isn't that what Buzz Buzz told us to do? We have to find Giant's Step. Oh, who's this dirty looking guy? Like Pigpen. Yes, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Yeah, I guess. Just kidding. Being watch out is my job. Now, if you're wondering, yeah, this is a little trick area. I don't remember how to... Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. See the house over there? There's a way to get in there. And how was it that you get in there? Ah, oh, there we go. His Ness's buddies. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Okay, I don't know why he's just giving it to me out of nowhere. I didn't know these people knew I was leaving. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I, I, I think I really like you. Well. You know what I mean. Yeah, no gay, huh? Okay, where's our inventory is? That button. Equip. Other. Baseball cap. If you're curious, body is, you know, armor. It's gonna be like shirts and stuff. Arms is like, um, wrists, bangles, things like that. And other is accessory. 
It can be baseball caps, it can be other helmets, it can also be things like um, a medallion, you know, anything like that. Okay, let's go. And if you're wondering about battle, it's totally turn-based. There is no real time in it at all. Oh, hey, a mole. What are you doing, Mr. Mole? I'm not your enemy. I'm simply your average run-of-the-mill mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? I guess. Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV screen... No, no. I mean the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV... Oops, again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Oh, there's one of the butterflies. Come here. Yay. I like butterflies. The magic butterfly made Ness relax. It gives you some of your PP back. Not all of it, as far as I remember, but a good amount. What the uh, mole was telling us was, just like you saw I was getting into battles and there was a little, like, grayish-black swirl that started the battle. If the enemy tries to run away from me, or if I can sneak up on them from behind, it'll give me a green swirl, and I get a free bonus attack, just like in most games, when you get a sneak attack on the enemy. Conversely, if you try and run away from an enemy and they catch up to you and hit you from behind, you'll get a red swirl, and the enemies get a bonus attack. So. You never, ever want to run away from enemies. It's the worst thing you can do. And some enemies will try and loop back around and hit you from behind, so you got to be careful later on in the game. Beat this sucker. Come on. I'll take you on, you stupid crow. Hit you. Don't. Well, at least it only did one, one damage. Come on. Stop smiling at me. Knock that smile right off your face. Stop pecking at my eyes. Ah. There we go. Good. Don't steal anything, stupid crow. Die. There we go. Okay. Do we experience a present? Ooh, a cookie. So it doesn't. Well, I guess it makes up for the one I lost earlier when they stole it from me. But yeah, as you can tell, it looks like most of them will give you cookies. There's a snake. I think over here, let's see. Oh, no, it looks like that just leads back into town. Uh, is there anything over? Nah. Okay, then. Uh, I'll bite this snake instead. So, poo-poo to you, Mr. First Snake. Ah, good. Now I get to tell you about that. And also, there was no battle. That was not editing. When you become strong enough that an enemy is absolutely no challenge to you, they don't bother actually having you fight. You just automatically kill them and get the experience and whatever. Any items that you would have gotten, you get them automatically. Any level ups, all of it. It's all automated. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes. My hotels are too expensive. Yeah, you really need to change your clothes, guys. Right, there's a big footprint on the hill behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Mm, big footprint? Maybe it's Giant's Step? Traveling Entertainer Shack. The door is locked. Mm. Well then. Dougie! Oh, let's finish this fight and then we'll be done. That'd be my timer going off. I'm sure you guys heard it. Come on. Ha! Huh, that baseball cap really helped. Four experience. Nice. Okay. This has been Storm King and Aluki. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Earthbound.